Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Today I'm going to be showing you guys two things that I bought from Project Lip, and here is the packaging. I am in love with this packaging. I, I love the deep. This is why I got this orange on. I got orange eyes. Like. We are orange in this bitch and like the logo is orange and it's just, it's perfect, I love it. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to show you guys what I actually got. So inside I got this, which is a Project Lip Pumping Kit and you get three things in it. You get a little lip mask and then you get a matte plumping primer and then you get a scrub me up lip scrub, which I think it's great. And I kind of forgot you got a lip mask with this and it's gonna have to go over the top of my makeup, which I don't know if that's gonna work out, but I'm still gonna do it anyway. And then the second thing I got was this plump and gloss like pumping gloss. <laughs> pumping gloss, pump gloss. Mm, I didn't know it was gonna be that shiny. This is like a lip gloss to go on top of your lipstick that's already been put on. I think that's so nice, I didn't know it was that glittery. It's pretty. It's not for looking pretty, it's for plumping these bad boys up. This is actually like an extreme, XXL extreme lip plumper thingy ma jiggy. I don't, I don't really know, but I know that it makes people's lips look bigger than they are. And a lot of people are saying that through the lockdown they bought it and they normally get lip filler. And they was like, I don't need lip filler anymore. But if, you know, you never know how true that shit is. <laughs> One more thing in here. I want to know what, what it is. Oh, don't show everybody your address on both. Go come and rob what you have. Okay, so it actually tells you how to do everything. So step one is get a super soft pout with our edible, love that, I'm gonna eat it when it's done, sugar-based fruity formula. Exfoliate and invigorate the lips with an enriched sweet orange oil extract. And step two is hydrate with our collagen infused hydrogel lip mask. Nourishing and conditioning, giving your lips a smooth, plumper pout. And then step number three is prime, plump and hydrate all in one. Working with the lips own collagen to enhance and give a plumper, more defined lip. And then it says here 84% of people notice a plumpier appearance to their lips. This is the uh, the unique plumping and collagen boosting formula that is scientifically proven to increase collagen and lip shape if used every day for 28 days. We might do a 28 day challenge on this, see if my lips get any plumpier. I took some pictures before I put anything on today, so we know what my lips gonna look like, but her lips there, they look different, but you know, I'm, I'm never gonna believe the models, <laughs> ever. Look, plumping kit, I'm guessing like, do you need to do the lip mask every day or what? I don't really get that, but whatever. Oh, we, got, we actually got two of these, so. That's a waste of paper, but it's all right, I'll, I'll take two. First ingredient out, which is this scrub me up lip scrub. Let's just take it out. And then it says scrub in circular motions around your lips, lick me to taste me, and then rinse with warm water to reveal a super soft plump lips. Ugh, I'm open it. I eat these types of things, they always get. There we go. Okay, so it's quite a small tub. Oh, it's cute though. It's like, it's got an aesthetic. It really has, I love that. Oh, I don't know what this. Oh, that's a different consistency to what I thought it would be. <laughs> that reminds me of Mr. Dog. I'm so happy I could eat you up. I really could. <laughs> anyway, just to take some and rub it on my lips in circular motions. Oh God. To say this is an exfoliant, it feels very light on the lips. Like, it don't feel like it's doing much. Mmm. It just tastes kind of good. But it also tastes like, you know, like like eating a regular lip balm. And I don't know, and that's just not for me, okay? I'm not really sure how long I have to do this for, but I'm gonna do it till I feel ready. And then it says to wash it off with warm water. I don't have a sink in here, so I'll be right back. So now that we have got rid of half my makeup washing that off, I am now going to take off even more makeup by using this lip mask. So it says here, oh god, uh, gently remove film from both sides of the gel mask and apply to dry and chapped lips. Wow, no need to call me out like that. 
And then it says leave for 15 to 20 minutes. What, well, baby? Okay, um, I'll definitely like skip through that part of waiting. But then the third one is remove and pat lips to absorb extra serum, which of course, of course. I'm just gonna show you how I apply it. And then I'm gonna like turn the recording off. Cause I didn't know it was gonna take this long. I thought it was like a two minute thing. Wait, did you get two or just one? Wait, so where, wait, where do I get this? Um, hello. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is the jelly piece of lips. Let me just put it on there. They went pretty far. <laughs> oh my god! So after 15 to 20 minutes with that mask on your lips, you want to pat your lips so that you get all the excess collagen or whatever I'm patting into my lips. I could be patting pure cyanide into my lips and I won't even give a fuck. Next, I'm going to be opening this matte plumping primer. So this is where the plumpy comes. That's just the setup, the prep. Plumping prep. So generously on the lip and over the lip line, press your lips together to activate and then reapply to maximize the plump. Oh, I love it. It's also like a nice little steam. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so. Oh, it's not for you. It smells really nice. So I'm just going to show you how much product you actually get. Okay, so you actually get quite a lot. This looks like it's been like cut there but it's all right as long as I just do that and it'll be fine. I'm going to apply this generously all over my lips and I'm going to do it over my lip line as well. I don't really know what that does but hopefully it makes my lips look bigger. Okay so I definitely feel something happening now um, when I wore the mask it was quite soothing like it made me feel like there was nothing on my lips whatsoever but right now I'm feeling like burning sensation like it stings a little tiny bit not unbearable I've just put on the matte plumping primer and it says warning this product will tingle but it's less of a tingle and you guys ever eaten like hot wings from KFC and you get some of the hot wing sauce on your lips. That's what it feels like this is. It's hot wing sauce on my lips. I mean, I'm living for it. And it kind of makes me want a KFC, so. I'm a bit sad right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a few minutes, see what's happening, see what's pop a -lop in. And I'm gonna come back in like five minutes time and then I'm gonna reapply another coat because it says if you wanna do it big big, then you gotta do it two times or more or many times. I don't remember how many times it said specifically if it did say a specific amount. But I know that it said you can apply it more than once. Okay, so it's like really hot. Like it's tingling but in a hot way, not in like a cool tingle sensation. It's like them hot wings had a lot of hot sauce on them today. <laughs> so I'll be back in like five minutes to show you guys the second coat and tell you how it feels then. I think I've got some on my mouth as well because my mouth started to burn too. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. We are right. Okay, so it's been about four minutes, something like that. And my lips are still like feeling like the hot sauce is still on them. <laughs> I'm still gonna put another layer on because this is an experiment, baby. I need to know how big my lips can get. It doesn't say anything about how long you got away. I assume five minutes is long enough, so I'm gonna apply another layer of this. Hot sauce, that's what I'm gonna call it from now on, hot sauce. And again, just rub your lips together to activate it. Not really sure how that works, but 
I'm not really sure how many things work, to be honest, so does it really matter? I don't think so. <laughs> now I'm going to wait another five minutes and then I'm going to show you guys well, what the difference is between the size of my lips from what before I put anything on, including all the prep and shit, and then after two coats of the primer stuff. I hope it looks different. I paid a lot of money for this shit. I'll tell you exactly how much I paid and all that crap like towards the end. But. So it's been another five minutes for this second coat and I've taken some pictures and from the pictures myself, I'm not really sure if there's much difference. Honestly, on that first picture there where my mouth is closed, my lips look bigger when I haven't got that stuff on, but I don't know if that's just me. Tingling sensation is there, but is the plump? I don't know. I don't know if there's the plump. I was going to put lipstick on top of this and then put the gloss on, but I honestly think that we should just see what the product looks like on its own without no other products weighing in their own little formulas and taking piss basically. So we're just gonna put the lip gloss straight on top. Just give myself a nice natural lip, <laughs> but plumpy too. So. Yeah, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure if this is plumpy enough. Like, I don't know. Okay, so here's the gloss again. Let's just take this out. So this is a weird, oh, it's weird actually. It smells really fucking nice. Though. Like, all these products smell really good to say they're like, well, doing something like, as crazy as making your lips this hot. I'm a bit scared to put this on because my lips are already hot, man. Oh, I just gotta do it. I just gotta stop being a pussy. And then we actually just do the same. We just rub. Rub, rub, rub. Until we get that insane um, KFC hot wing feeling. It's in my mouth again. It's so hot in here. Okay, nobody talks about these side effects when they're, when they're reviewing it on Instagram. So that's really the only place I've seen it been reviewed. I don't know why I'm trying to cool it down. It won't work. It... And now I'm going to put a second layer of this lip gloss on. I don't know why. I don't... I just don't... It don't feel as hot as when I put the the two layers of other stuff on, so I'm guessing I can go a bit more all out with this. And I kind of want more coverage when it comes to the glitter. Ooh. And now we wait, 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 wait. My mouth is on fire. When your dog come through. So I'm gonna go off camera and then I'm going to wait like 10 minutes all together. And then I'm gonna show you guys my final lips. It looks weird, that sounds weird, but I'm gonna show you guys my final lips and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this, how much it cost me, how long it took to be delivered, and all that type of crap, okay? So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. So it's actually been about 15 minutes now and the stuff should have like, you know, booked up its ideas by now. It's been like half an hour since I put the first coat on. So there should be a noticeable difference, right? Well, I don't think so. And I haven't put it on wrong. I followed all the steps and my lips just aren't that different. I'm gonna put some photos aside and I'm gonna show you guys what my mouth looks like in different positions and things like that so you guys can like, in the, in the photo where my lips are like, like that, I can tell a little bit of difference from the bottom. When I take the picture with my mouth is just together and relaxed, it doesn't look that much different. The only thing I can really tell from that photo is that one side of my lip is like straight down and one is like curved round and that really pissed me off to realise but... We all gotta realise shit about ourselves too late, aren't we? So yeah, so much tingly pain. It wasn't pain, it was just tingly and hot. It was just not worth it for the result I got at all. Like, personally, this was not 
good out. So in some pictures I am seeing that there is a noticeable difference, but I don't know if that's a difference because I've got lip gloss all over my lips or because my lips actually look bigger. Like, I don't know, like my lips in the first photos look a bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they've got makeup on them. So obviously they're gonna look smaller because they look more concealed. My lips look pinker now. So they are gonna look bigger because you can actually see where the lip starts. I'm personally not ever gonna buy anything from this brand again, ever. Like there was not a big enough, massive enough difference for me to even care about it. Like, okay, people want their lips plumping, but what? the difference was like two millimeters maybe. I don't know, man, I just, it's not for me, it's not for me. This lip gloss is not for me. But that's not to say it can't be for you and if you're looking at my results and you think, damn, that worked, then go out and buy it. I don't care, no hard feeling. But I don't like it. <laughs> so I actually ended up paying 34 pounds and some pence for all of this, that's including delivery and everything. I actually got a deal, I used code PLUMP to get some money off. So if you thought it worked on me and you want some, then use that code, you'll get some money off so you don't have to spend as much if it actually don't work, feel like it did for me. The kit that I got that came with the scrub and the primer, that cost £19.95. And then the actual like XL collagen lip plumpy stuff, that cost me £12.60, but that was actually on a pre-order sale because I don't know why they had it on the sale for pre-order when I don't know. I just don't know, okay? I just know that they had it on sale, so I, I wanted to buy it more than I wanted to buy it when it was full price. But it turns out, won't worth it. Saw that a lot of the photos on Instagram, the, the lips didn't look plumper, it just looked shiny. Uh, and that's how my lips look. They just look shinier. And that, that obviously is gonna make your lips look better than they did with the crusty and dry. I just don't know what this pro what people are raving about when they buy this product. I don't think it's worth the money I bought it for. And I'm pretty sure when I used my friend's plumping lip gloss that cost like three quid or something, it worked the exact same. It did a little bit, but not a lot. Not something you can charge people 32 pounds for oh me and project lips aren't mates we are not mates at all right now i got ready i wore my orange t-shirt i got orange eyeshadow on for what for you to be shit i can't believe it me i am so because i ordered one of the products as a what's it what's it called as a pre-order it actually took a month and three days for it to come because this was out of stock when i ordered it so i'm guessing they wanted to send it all in one package which i'm okay with like i bought it knowing it would come like in a month because it did say when the pre-order would be back in stock but altogether the hype that people have led me to believe on instagram and the results that people put on instagram where i thought mm, that looks a bit shady but i I'll try it myself because people are speaking so highly of it. Thanks for lying to me. <laughs> I'm joking, you're not lying. It could have totally worked for you, but you know, when it don't work for me, I'm just like, okay then, okay, okay then. And honestly, like, I don't do these videos just for myself. I do them, like, I always give you guys the evidence and what I have compiled together so you can make your own decision. If you think it worked, and you saw them pictures and you thought that looks way better than that, then you can go out and buy this if you want. But me, personally, probably never buy anything from this brand again. That's just the tea. Like I'm not trying to be mean. I spent fucking 32 pounds. I'm gonna be a bit <laughs> miffed. And these girls who were saying, I don't need lip fillers after using this. What? Why? How did you use the product for it to work that well for you? Because I don't even feel like I got a semi-lip filler. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the only thing I've realised from this is that one of my sides of my lip is lower than the other and it makes me look a bit drowsy on one side. So thanks a lot, Project Lip. You've really helped me with my self-esteem there. But yeah, I can't sit here and just lie and say that I like it when I don't, because I don't. But the evidence is there for you guys to make your own opinions, so it's really your choice, isn't it? Like, it's your money. I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, okay? I'm just gonna try to help you spend it in the right places, okay? Like, I'm gonna probably use the rest of it. Like, I'm not gonna go let it go to waste, of course not. And I might even do that 28 day 
challenge where you put it on for 28 days and then you see how your lips look because they should look different. So maybe that'll work. But you know, people made out there was instant results and I don't see any immediate instant results except my lips are shinier, which obviously makes them look better. I'm sorry that this is a negative review guys, but sometimes it's gonna happen, okay? So no, this was quite a negative video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you've tried Project Lip before and you gave you good results, let me know in the comments below because I wanna know that this product is actually working for real people, okay? Not just people who get it sent to them and then they're reviewing it saying, it's really good! It's like, no, you're lying to me! You could have said, it only gives me a little bit of plump. You could have said that, but you didn't. You said, oh my god, the difference. Oh, it's unbelievable. This is believable difference. My lips just look shiny. Oh my god, I'm so missed. What am I going to do with myself? <laughs> I spent all this money for no reason. Just hope I get a lot of views on this video, because... Then the money was at least semi worth it. <laughs> See, that's that's how, that's how this product's got to redeem itself. I gotta get a lot of views on it, which is not the right thing to be saying for something. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Share with your friends. I don't mind. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is amberj.hunter. And I think that's just about enough roasting of this product for today. So I'm super disappointed that this video turned into a hate fest. But honestly. I don't know what else to say, like, I like I like the lip gloss because it's got glitter in it, but literally I could have just made my own. <laughs> it's not hard to make glittery lip gloss, okay? It's not hard, and it's not even that glittery! So you ain't got that much You're hurting me. Okay, I'm, I'm going before I get mad. So I'll see you again. <laughs> so I'll see you later, guys. Bye!